So dynamic translation uh, basically allows, uh, you know, agents and requesters who are not speaking the same language to kind of be able to converse with each other. So uh, how this works uh, at a high level is it leverages a generic uh, translation service on the back end, and it takes the message that the end user is sending, translates that, and then shows that to the agent. So um, since this is, you know, using a third party service, it's not gonna be 100% accurate all the time, but that's not our goal as well. It's mainly to convey, you know, the gist of what the end user is talking to the agent. And these are kind of targeted specifically for customers, uh, let's say, let's say a US company buys a subsidiary in Spain. And, uh, you know, as part of that, they need to start supporting, you know, customers, uh, end users speaking Spanish right away. So they may not have trained the agents already in Spanish. Uh, so dynamic translation is a very good tool in that context to help bridge that gap and kind of, uh, you know, help uh, such companies right away. So the other is when, you know, it's a very global company, they have, uh, you know, agents and call centers all over the world. But for some reason, let's say a call center is down and they want to kind of, um, you know, still support uh, end users in that geography, they can, uh, you know, point or route those chats to a different geography and, you know, agents can still support those end users uh, by way of dynamic translation. That's kind of the, you know, use case and the end goal of dynamic translation. So let's talk about how to set this up. Um, so dynamic translation has its own plugin instead of agent chat. So you would need to download that plugin uh, and install it. And uh, yeah, um, there is also a system property that you would have to enable as part of that. Um, and once uh, you know, you've done the plugin stuff, like I said, you need to uh, basically set up a translation service. So you need to pick the right translation service that you want to use. Uh, make sure it's active uh, and also set up a translation service book. So this is a quick uh, overview of how this works end to end before I actually do a demo. So like you can see, uh, you know, the screenshots for both the requester and the agent. So anything that um, the requester sends to the agent is going to be translated uh, in the agent's language. And you would see system messages uh, for both the agent and requester to that effect, saying that, you know, this message or this chat is being translated. Um, yeah, that's the second bullet point there. And in addition to the web chat client, you know, this is also supported on iOS and Android uh, as end users. And the last thing I wanna show a call out here is, uh, you know, while, you know, you can install this plugin and that would kind of make dynamic translation available by default for you know all agents across their conversations they have the option to turn on or turn it off per conversation by using this toggle which i'll also show you in the demo uh, so that was an overview let's uh, look at how this works so i'm going to use a different agent here So, um, so the context here is, you know, I've logged in as Fred, who's the agent who is, uh, let's say, based in the US and he speaks only English. And this is uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln, who is, you know, an end user from uh, Spain, who speaks Spanish. So he, clearly each of them, each of, the, uh, each of these two personas don't speak the other's language. So let's see how this works in terms of uh, dynamic translation. So this is a pre-chat survey, which I'm just gonna skip. So, uh, you know, Abraham is now looking, reaching out for help. So Fred has accepted the chat. And I'm just gonna simulate something in Spanish here since I don't speak any Spanish. So 
So uh, Abraham has conveyed, you know, what his question is about in Spanish. And as you can see, it automatically got translated into English for Fred. So a couple of things to point out here is you see this globe icon, uh, which kind of is an indicator immediately to uh, Fred that this is a translated version of what the end user actually said. And if he wants to see the actual utterance, he can click on the globe icon. And this would show him the actual text of what Abraham kind of entered on his side. Um, and this is a toggle I was referring to in my slide. So you can, Fred can has the option to turn off dynamic translation altogether for this interaction if he wants to. Um, so now I'm just gonna say, in, So now Fred is still confusing in English. And if you go back, you can see that this is translated in Spanish for Abraham. And this is the system message that I was referring to. So it kind of says that uh, this chat is being translated into a different language. And the same thing here, um, you know, I already covered that. Uh, now let's just say, you know, um, Fred needs to create an incident. So he's just gonna, So this incident has been uh, created and this should show up uh, here for, you know, Abraham as well. This should actually be showing up in English. I don't know why this is showing up in Spanish here, but it's something we are going on, which I need to look into. So ideally what should happen is the incident card should show up in English for Fred since he's, his preferred language is English. And this should get uh, translated into Spanish, which is already happening here. So this part here is probably a bug that we will have to look into, but uh, that essentially uh, is kind of how it works. So let's look at the transcript now. So since I have a post chat survey, uh, I'll have to end this and go through the survey for the transcript to show up. So the survey is not translated at all, which is why you're seeing this in English. So this transcript should show up any second here. Okay, there it is. So as you can see the transcript uh, is basically pretty much in English for Fred and that should be in Spanish if I download the transcript for you know Abraham so that's kind of how dynamic translation works uh, end to end one thing I want to mention is that you know dynamic translation was covered extensively as part of the academy session so this slide also includes a link to that so you know once you have access to these slides uh, please do take a look for more context on dynamic translation.